Hey everybody, this video brings me and Dave out to Kissimmee, Florida. And the reason why we are in Kissimmee, Florida is to check out a Goodwill I have never been to before. Yet another new Goodwill for me here in Florida. I'm excited for this. I, lo I love hitting up a brand new store I've never been, well, brand new store to me that I've never been to before. You were saying the store is kind of like hit or miss sort of? Really good products, just questionable pricing. So sometimes. we're gonna find we're gonna find some amazing sometimes. things in here, just pricing wise. So it's gonna be like thrifting in, in Pennsylvania. Yes, yes. Great, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. I, I, I'm I'm used to the crazy, high, ridiculous prices of uh, of Goodwill. So all right, it's just it's it's like it's like being home. I always forget when you're in Florida, you have to always check the front little cases here. We don't really have things like this in Pennsylvania. No. And the reason why you want to check them in Florida is because this is really for the collectibles and stuff. So yes. like Disney collectibles come in. I I have seen some pretty amazing Disney collectibles inside these cases before. I'm like, yeah, again, I, I gotta get used to this whole Florida thrifting thing. Ooh, is that a, is that a popcorn bucket down there? No, wait, oh, it's an, it's an egg. It's an egg. I, there's, <laughs> there's another egg. I thought it was the, the, the iridescent um, Mickey popcorn bucket. It kind of, yeah, it looks yeah. like it, right? It's kind of, all right, I got excited for a second. It's just a stupid egg. We're off to a great start. I found eggs. So at home, I'm always saying I have to check the uh, the bags and in hopes of maybe finding some Lisa Frank or some Disney or may, maybe even possibly a lounge fly, which I, I have, as you know, I have found a lounge fly once, but see, again, I have to get used to this Florida thing because here in Florida, <laughs> like finding a lounge fly isn't a crazy, th in Pennsylvania, finding a lounge fly kind of a bit more obscure. Yeah. Here in Florida, I mean, they could just, pop, they, those things can pop up. So I, again, I gotta get used to this whole mindset of Florida thrifting, of, of, of the greater Disney area thrifting. It's, it's a whole, a whole new thing. I want to live, not just survive. Words to live by. So you're over here checking out this um, captain's hat. Yeah, and yeah, why, yeah. why were you checking this out? Because uh, I mean, all my boats I own, you know. <laughs> no, honestly, um, there's a place down here called the Boathouse. Which so, you know oh, so we were there last night. Yes. So amazing. The food's are fantastic. Yeah. So on the weekends, on Saturdays and Sundays, they do a, a brunch. Okay. It's called the captain's brunch. If you go wearing a captain's hat of any form, whether it's this kind or a standard captain's hat, you get a free mimosa Ooh, with your brunch. What's that, so, orange juice and champagne? Yep. I don't even drink, I know that. <laughs> you, well, there you go. How are they asking on it? Uh, only $2.99. You can get yourself a free mimosa. Exactly. Is it like a, a decently sized mimosa? Oh, yeah. Or? Yep, just sanitized. I mean, for, for yeah, for what did you say? What's three bucks? Three bucks. For three bucks? You know, they're going to charge more than that. Get it, yeah. All right, so um, I, I thought you said this place was amazing and had had a fantastic selection. It's, uh, <laughs> This is apparently it for the uh, the media as of right now, but there is a CED down here. I mean, that's something you don't see every day at a at a Goodwill, like a Passons electronic disc of the pirate movie. That's yeah, the pirate the pirate movie. I don't know if I have this or not. I don't know if I really want that. It's the pirate movie. Any good? Leave leave comments down below. It's so cool to see a a CED at a Goodwill. That's pretty awesome. But Captain um, Jack in that movie, or? I don't think Captain Jack no. is in that movie, unfortunately. So all right, this is um, this is it. Why do I feel like we're gonna be buying just a hat today? <laughs> Here's some anime. This is um, Banner of the Stars, which of course I've never heard of. I mean, I, I know, an anime I've never heard of? What? That sounds crazy. So I, I would have picked this up, but unfortunately it looks like it's a, uh, it's an old maybe rental from a library or something like that. There's a number on the side and then when you open it up, there's a, I don't know whatever that is. So yeah, I'm gonna end up having to pass on this because the disc is in terrible, terrible condition. So. For, Second, I thought maybe I was actually buying a, a DVD, but it's gone back on the close, shelf. Close. That close. All right, well, it looks like I'm passing on all the uh, DVDs and the, the few Blu-rays they had up here as well, but um, there's nothing actually I, I need to pick up. So yeah, gonna end up passing on all of this. However, this I'm not gonna pass on some Jim Brickman, the Disney songbook. You were saying he's a piano player who does all different Disney songs? He is, yes. I need this for my, my Disney CD collection. I mean, will I ever actually really listen to it? Probably not, but do I need it for my, my Disney CD collection? Of course I do, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. I mean, at least I'm picking up some media, right? It's something. Yeah, and, and now I have to make an apology to my wife that he found it first. Do, do you need this? I, I do, but no. It's, it, no but. Take it, take it. So other than the amazing Jim Brickman find, what else are you picking up there? Um, you gonna grab some books? Well, I, I, no, I, I, the new Prince Harry books. Fair. Okay. Just you, came out recently. You were saying that just came out? Literally just came out. Okay. Uh, we ordered it on Amazon, because I didn't think I'd find it here <laughs> can at you, Goodwill. Can you return it to Amazon? Uh, yeah, it literally ah, just showed up yesterday. So. Perfect, there you, there you go then. And then and, what's this? Uh, is that Taylor Swift? Swift? Yes, love her. This oh. is the CD. 
but it's just like a little journal entries, huh. and I can't wait to read what she wrote in her journal. Are you a, are you a big T Swift fan? My daughter is. So. Okay, fair, fair, fair enough. So, all right, you're pick, picking that up, huh? Yep. Is that it for for media? Uh, um, unless you need it. I'm 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 good with the T Swift. I'm thinking that's gonna do it for media. Oh, I'm grabbing nothing. You're grabbing all the good stuff. I've got to say, in Florida, the uh, the toy sections are pretty epic inside the Goodwills. Every time we go into a Goodwill, they always have like at least two, three, sometimes like four rows of nothing but toys, which yep. is pretty amazing. Though, again, I'm trying to be a lot more selective now when it comes to things I pick up. I don't really want to pick up much toys for the store unless it's something like really amazing and above and beyond. If I find some cool like vintage like 90s toy, maybe then. But otherwise, I'm just going to pass on a lot of stuff. But this is pretty awesome. This is a Shrek 4D Universal Studios back scratcher. But... The question is, does it still work? <gasps> it does! I'm thinking though the toys are, are gonna be a bit of a bust. I'm not seeing anything over here I wanna pick up. They have a ton of plush though, and some, I guess, sort of interesting plush. There's a Spider-Man there, and they have a, a Hank, and a Jack-Jack, and a, and a Gru, and I mean, I, I don't know, whatever, is this a, I guess that's a, a raccoon maybe? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna say raccoon. It's got a raccoon tail? Yes. It's gotta be a raccoon, so. I don't know yet. Do you see anything? No, no maybe? Pop, che Chewy. Look at that face. We're home. For an actual second, I thought, wait a minute, hold on. Maybe there's still something good because we completely missed this whole other section of toys, but we're not really seeing anything over here either. They have some, um, what do these things called? Imaginex, right? Possibly. Imagine X toys over here, which are pretty awesome. I, I mean, well, this is definitely Monsters Inc. Imagine well, that X. That one is, yes. That's cool. Though. I mean, I love, I love Imagine X toys, but I'm not gonna pick those up. They have a, a Yoda pump, pumpkin thingy here. You wanna get a pumpkin thing? No. Step one: paint your pumpkin. <laughs> step, step one: paint your pumpkin. I like it. Anyway, you find anything? No. No. All right. Well, once again, moving on. The electronic section's not really looking that great either. I mean, don't get me wrong, they actually have a pretty decent electronic section here. It's just, I mean, common DVD players and blue. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Common, eh? No remote, but they actually have an HD DVD player here. This is a, um, what model is this? This is an A3, wow. This is like, the, that was the last model, right? There was an A1, A2, and A3, right, I believe? They never, so, they never won yeah. A4, I believe. So that's, that's actually pretty awesome. That is a, that's a nice player though. You need an HDTV player, don't you? I do, but do I? I mean, yes. Oh. You, you should get one. That, that no, is. that's, what are they asking on this? It is free, oh no. I mean, $18, not bad. And the only problem is there's no remote for it though. That's, that's something you don't see every day, an HD DVD player. I used to come across these all the time back when like HD DVD lost the battle and everybody was getting rid of theirs. I, I would find these all over the place. Diamond does and I literally have a stack of these in a closet, many of them still brand new in box even, but I mean, get a pass? I'm, I can get one of those for $18? I'll sell you one for $18. I'll sell you one for 20 bucks. The, bo the box is an extra $2. All right, so I take back what I said. Not everything over here in the electronic section is uh, common stuff. Again, that, that HD DVD player is pretty awesome. It's tempting to grab, but I, I don't need yet another HD DVD player. I have way too many. They do have a Philips Blu-ray player here and just some other random stuff. Who remembers when Blu-ray players were like hard to find? Like remember when you would come across a Blu-ray player in a thrift store and you'd be like, oh my gosh, I have to pick this up. Now, when are we gonna start seeing 4K players start showing up in, in thrift stores? That's what I wanna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start seeing 4K players start showing up. Then I'll start picking those up when those things start popping up. But all right, anyway. Oh, this one has its remote. There you go. It's not a Toshi, it's a Sony. Anyway, you go with the electronics? I'm any good. All right, once again, Dude, right? move, move, yes, moving on and strike. All right, so thus far I'm pretty much completely striking out, but we still have the entire rest of the store to look through. I mean, you never know what you're gonna find. There, there could be some figment around here or some weird anime thing. I don't know what this is. Who, comments down below. If you know what anime series this is from, leave a comment down below. I know Dave's a huge fan of this anime series, right? Uh, yeah, but of it's, course, uh, it's, um, come on. Nailed it. Anyway, if you know, like, oh, actually, this is kind of awesome. Look at the Thor Ragnarok poster. What are they asking on that? It is, it's, what? Thir $13 for that? All right, you, you weren't wrong about the, the pricing in here. That's, that's, that's more, that's more than you'd pay for something like that at, uh, in, in Pennsylvania. Really? $13 for a, all right. Okay, Goodwill. For a poster from Five Below. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I suppose ask and you shall receive. So I looked over here and I went, oh, look, it's it's Bluey. I, I love Bluey. Do you oh, like Bluey? Bluey's great. Dave, and also Dave. Dave, that gets confusing. Anyway, so I saw this, I thought it was pretty cool. And then I saw, I saw me some the Figment. I don't have this. There's two Figment cups in here. I, I mean, I only need one, but I'm gonna, I found me some Figment. That's awesome. What am I asking on this? It is, I mean, $7, which seems, well, I mean, you are getting up. I guess they're selling all the cups together, so all right, f fine. But whatever, seven bucks for a, um, what do you think that's from? That's something from, what, Food and Wine Festival? Like food and Wine, definitely. Food and Wine from a couple years ago. Again, I don't, I don't have that mug in my collection. So for $7, I'm not walking out of here empty-handed. You know what? I'm finding some Figment, which is all I really, really want to find. I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited <laughs> when I get to, when I come to Florida. All I really want to find is Figment. So, all right. I'm happy now. I found some figment. Figment! I found figment. Well, I was just about to say, I think that's gonna do it for this um, Goodwill. And then Dave goes, oh yeah, you know what? Actually, there is more media. Apparently up here at the registers, there is a ton of stuff. So, all right, we, we found, I, I thought it kind of weird that that was it for, for media at the yeah, Goodwill. So, all right, all right, there's a lot of stuff. There's all kinds of, look at this, tons of Blu-rays here. It's gonna be kind of difficult to look through all these, but there are, there are a lot of um, titles here. I mean, anything I need, I don't. Oh God, we'll just stay away from, stay away, stay away from that that movie. But anyway, I, I mean, I'm I'm seeing lots of media, so all right, there's got to be something here I need. Power of positivity. I'm gonna find at least one one movie. All right. Well, unfortunately, I think I used all my power of positivity up on the amazing Figment cups. That's uh, I think that's all I'm really picking up. But I mean, hey, if all I get is some Figment in Florida, I'm pretty happy with that. However, I think I might also. Grab this, some Reservoir Dogs, brand new factory seal for only $1.99 for the store. Why, why not? I'm trying to go only media now for the most part for the store. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this up, but um, you finding anything at all? Uh, no? No, missing yeah. discs. Yeah, so. <laughs> so there's, I mean, there's a lot here. It's just, it's either common, scratched, or like you said, the discs are missing. So, all right, we done? We're done. We done. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for the, uh, what, one of the many Goodwills here in Kissimmee. There's like, how many Goodwills are there in Kissimmee? I think two or three. One might just be a donation center. So. All right, well, anyway, one of the one of the Goodwills here in Kissimmee, we're, we're, we're done. And I'm, I'm happy, I got the, I got the Figment Cup, some good finds there. Turns out the Blu-rays were actually $2.99, not $1.99, but they said because okay. they told me $1.99, they gave it to me for $1.99, hey. so that was awesome. And you got with the books and, yep. and the cat, that captain's hat, I mean, I was gonna say the coolest find, but no, my Figma cups are way, way cooler than your captain's hat. But free mimosas for you, so. And since that uh, the Taylor Swift had the CD in it, they yeah. charged me for CD price instead of for book price. So nice. it's a bit cheaper. So that's awesome. And yep. I mean, you get to, and you get to return your book. So we, we actually, I mean, I guess all in all, yeah. we found some pretty cool we, stuff today. Yeah, okay. we, we didn't walk out with a lot, but we actually found some pretty cool finds. So I'm happy we came out here, but all right, guys, with that, we are done. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and, and of course, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for Daily Adventures. And I guess check down below for a link to... Doughboy. On... Twitter. Twitter. Doughboy on Twitter. And all this yep. Doughboy everywhere. Everywhere. All right, I'll see you guys next video. Sorry, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.